Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give another example on interpolation C. Apply suitable interpolation formula to estimate the value of y at 4.5 from the following data. Here also x values is x values are provided to you and uh, y values are provided in the second row and we are observing that x values are separated by the equal difference. What is the difference between the x values? 1. H value is 1. Okay. And uh, what are the number of given data points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally 6 values are provided to you. So here we, are, we have to find out the y value at uh, x is equal to 4.5. 4.5 clearly lies at the end of the data. So 4.5 lies between 4 and 5 which is the last interval. That's why Newton's backward interpolation formula is the suitable interpolation formula. So in this problem we can apply Newton's backward interpolation formula to evaluate y value at 4.5. Okay. So before applying Newton's backward interpolation formula we should consider the backward difference table. Okay. See. Solution takes hiding backward difference table. So write the x values in the first column and uh, y values in the second column. After that, uh, here we are taking the side heading as backward difference table. That's why. First one is nebula y. Backward differences are denoted by nebula y. Okay. And uh, forward differences already you know that forward differences are denoted by delta y. So second order backward difference is nebula square y. And nebula cube y. Next difference is nebula power 4 y. Finally nebula power 5. One important point is since totally 6 points are given in the statement up to 5th order backward differences exist. Do not forget it. So write the x values in order. 0. Please maintain some difference between previous x value and the next x value. So at some gap you can write 2 and 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 5 is the last value, uh, see, what are the functioning values, at uh, x is equal to 0, y is also 0, okay, at x is equal to 0, y is also 0, at x is equal to y is also 1, <coughs> at 2, at x is equal to y value 16, it is 81, it is 256 and it is 625. Now, we have to fill the differences. As usually, you should subtract the lower value minus upper value. 1 minus 0, which is 1. R write the difference between them only. 16 minus 1, 15. <coughs> 81 minus 16, which is 65. 256 minus 81 is equal to 175 625 minus 256 is equal to 369 okay these are the first order backward differences after that 15 minus 1 it is 14 and uh, 65 minus 15 it is 50 and uh, 175 minus 65 it becomes 110 and uh, 369 minus 175 is equal to 194 and uh, 50 minus 14 it is 36 uh, 110 minus 50 I think it is 60 and uh, 194 minus 110 is equal to 84 next 60 minus 36 it is 24 and obviously 80 minus uh, uh, 84 minus 60 is also 24 
and 24 minus 24 is 0. This is the fifth order backward difference. Now, here we have to find in this problem we have to find y value at uh, x is equal to 4.5 okay at x is equal to 4.5 is asked in the problem which is which lies at the end of the data hence we can apply Newton's backward Newton's backward interpolation formula only Newton's backward interpolation formula is suitable here that is y at x is equal to y n plus p into nebula by n plus p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial into nebula square by n plus p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 whole by 3 factorial into nebula cube by n plus p times of p plus 1 into p plus 2 into p plus 3 we can easily remember this formula whole whole by 4 factor into nebula power 4 y n actually in the difference table we have fifth order differences also but it is not necessary to write here because uh, fifth order difference is 0 0 and anything is 0 that's why don't write here the next term okay here what is the p value here p value is x minus xn by h but in the case of Newton's forward suppose we have to find out y value at a 0 0.5 otherwise at 0 0.8 then uh, that point is uh, at the starting of the data hence we can apply Newton's forward interpolation formula in that case p value is x minus x naught by h okay don't forget it so what is x value x value is 4.5 which is known as interpolating point 4.5 minus what is xn last value so first value is represented by x naught and last value is denoted by xn and this is yn and this is y naught don't forget it so 4.5 minus 5 by interval difference is already i told you h is equal to 1 so which is minus 0 0.5 in case of newton's backward interpolation formula always p value is negative but in the case of Newton's forward interpolation formula p value is always positive don't forget it okay now we have to substitute these all values in above formula see according to Newton's backward interpolation formula here we will get the required functioning value of phi at uh, 4.5 at uh, 4.5 is equal to y n what is y n 625 see the difference table uh, whenever we are going to apply Newton's backward formula we should round up the corner values from from the last okay this is nebula y n this is nebula square y n and uh, it is nebula cube y n and don't forget one thing in the in the case of uh, newton's forward interpolation formula you should round up the first corner values but in the case of backward uh, formula you should round up the last corner values don't forget it okay so this is nebula power 5 y n so in the formula in the notice backward formula very very first term is y n which is 625 plus p into what is p value negative of 0 0.5 times of nebula y n see the first column of 
backward differences which is 369 which is 369 and uh, p into p plus 1 so minus 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.5 plus 1 which is 0.5 it is better to write directly here by 2 factorial means 2 only and uh, what is the Naplas square? Naplas square yn is 194 plus p into which is minus 0 0.5 p plus 1 which is 0 0.5 p plus 2 minus 0 0.5 plus 2 which is positive 1.5 by 3 factor means 6 into nebula cube yn which is 84. You can see this difference table which is 84 plus final value is minus 0 0.5 which is p into p plus 1 minus 0 0.5 plus 1 which is 0.5 into 1.5 p plus 2 into p plus 3 so minus 2 point sorry positive 2.5 minus 0 0.5 plus 3 is 2.5 by 24 into fourth difference is 24 since fifth difference is 0 it is not necessary to write the entire fifth term here okay it is not necessary okay now we have to calculate this entire value by using scientific calculator see 625 here positive into negative sign is negative so bracket open 0 0.5 times of 369 bracket close here also we have negative sign only one negative sign positive into negative is negative you can operate directly negative and take this symbol type the numerator which is 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 194 okay write the denominator which is 2 next one next one also we have one negative sign only positive into negative is directly you can write negative here <coughs> 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 1.5 into 84 you can also Type this 84 in numerator. 84 division 6. Okay. And next one is also negative. Okay. And take this symbol 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 1.5 into 2.5 into 24. And write in the denominator. 4 factor is nothing but 24. Which is 410 point six two five. Sorry, zero six two five. And write in the bracket approximately. This is this is not maybe exact value. This is maybe only approximate value. And don't forget one thing. Our answer should be lies between two fifty six and six twenty five because four point five is lies between four and five. That's why respect to functioning values also in between y of 4 and y of 5 this is y of 4 and this is y of 5 so y of 4.5 should lies between y of 4 and y of 5 that's why answer should be in between 256 and 625 which is 410.065 this is the conclusion in this way we can complete the problem on newton's backward interpolation formula thank you very much